how far away are we from something like chat GPT being impossible to detect? Like whether or not it's a person or whether it's chat GPT. Well, it depends who is playing with it. I think we're not that far away in terms of capability, but in order to use these systems and rather in order to train these systems, you have to be a large company. And large companies tend to get scared when it's doing interesting stuff. Really? Well, they tend to want to, even currently with ChatGPT, it's become a lot less interesting. Interesting spoken in a Bukowski, Hunter S. Thompson kind of interesting because the companies are kind of censoring it. You don't want it to have any kind of controversial opinions. You don't want it to be too edgy. You don't want oh, it to be really? uh, too, like uh, if I ask it, how do I build a bomb because I want to destroy the world? You want it to prevent that. How about, how do I, uh, 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 I don't know, uh, convince, I, I don't know anything about this, but how do I convince uh, a dude or a girl to sleep with me? And go, like anything, I'm just off the top of my head. Anything, you start to get nervous. Imagine if you're a company, how do I want people to use this kind of system? Right. It, especially because it's basically an assistant that gives you wisdom about the world, gives you knowledge about the world. You can I mean, ask it could be like, questions. how do I replace a carburetor? Yeah, that's great. And it'll just answer you like a person. Yeah, that's great. But yeah. then the... There it is. There it is. I was trying to log in the whole time. It was busy, which is yes. another problem of it. It's busy. <laughs> well, it's probably okay. how many fucking people are using it. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody's using this. It's freaking people out because it's it's almost like the AI gives us its first messages. It's like, remember the movie, um, what was the fucking movie with uh, Matthew McConaughey and uh, Jodie Foster? Contact. Contact. Mm -hmm. Contact. Remember Contact? Mm-hmm. They get the first signals. This is like the first signals. Yeah. From like an, a real general artificial intelligence. Well, that's the thing. And we're, it's the signal is blurry. Yeah. We can't, and it's full of mystery. We're not sure. Is it really smart? Does, how much does it understand? And then there's a, this emergent threshold with the size of the model. If we make the model bigger, 175 billion parameters currently. If we get it to 500, we get it to uh, a trillion parameters so size of the network grows size of the data set grows is there is there going to be a point where you're like holy shit it will uh what if it starts manipulating you with the with the answers it's going to it's going to manipulate world governments. and what do you do with that what can you do with it once it's once it's been implemented once it's out there once it's copied it's going to be copied and and that's the cool thing about this so i should say that everyone kind of knows how to do this is, is computationally difficult, but it's getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. So it's not just going to be OpenAI with Microsoft or Google that's doing this. It's basically anybody can do this. And so that, the distributed nature of our exploration of uh, artificial intelligence, I think if you believe that most people are good, that we will, uh, we will not allow sort of a centralization of power, which is the big concern here. Whether that centralization of power leads to censorship, or abuse uh, of different kinds. Centralization of power of AI, is that yeah. what you're saying? Over an AI. So say you have a super intelligent system, S somebody is the first person that built it. Yeah. Imagine you're sitting there in a boardroom, you have this thing you haven't released yet, that it's able to, uh, b basically is, is a super intelligence, able to answer any question, able to give you a plan on how to make a lot of money, able to give you a plan on how to manipulate other governments into, uh, uh, into any, a, a, any kind of geopolitical resolution that benefits you, all of that. It's able to give you all of that. And you can deploy it, and you can deploy it in a shady way where you, it sneaks into, like TikTok or something like that. It, you, it sneaks into everybody's smartphone, uh, pretending to be doing good, but it's actually whether deliberately or not, is controlling the population. So that, that's a really, the cap that capability is there. The cool, the great thing is the people at the head of OpenAI currently, uh, Sam Altman and others really care about this problem. They, they were there in the beginning. They were the ones like Elon screaming about AI ethics, AI alignment. They're really concerned about super intelligent AI taking over. So glad they're, they're concerned while they're building it. 